In this video, I'm giving you a tour of the Lenovo Mirage Solo user interface and what you can actually do, all coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as I am, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Before we get to the in-depth review of the Lenovo Mirage Solo, which will come out later this week, let me first give you a tour of the UI of the device. And here we go. So this is the home screen. On top, we have some recommendations from Google. So these are some apps that they think are really good. And as you can tell, there's this kind of 3D effect when you go over it. And now you can go closer, yes, simply by moving there with your head and by getting off from your sofa because it's six degrees of freedom. So that's the first time that we have this with Daydream. And let me tell you, it's really, really cool. So here in the background, you can see the typical home environment. And yeah, you can walk the whole way if you want, but I don't do this in this video. All right, then here in the second row, we have the last five apps that you used. Here's the Play Store, here's your library, and here you can cast. Now this is something really cool. You can cast your screen to a Chromecast. So that is actually better than the Oculus Go because with the Oculus Go, you can not do that. You cannot cast to Chromecast. You can only directly cast to your Facebook timeline, which is very complicated. But here you can cast to any Chromecast. So now let's have a look at the library. This is how the library looks like, as you can tell. Um, yeah, I don't have so many apps right now installed. I have many more, but I don't have them installed on this device. And yeah, it's very, very simple and straightforward. Now let's have a look at the Play Store. Now the Play Store also looks very cool. You go into this cave and all the action is here in this cave. Okay, so this is how the store looks like. So we have a World Sense Part Experiences. These are experiences that already support six degrees of freedom. So it means where your head movements are taken into consideration in the virtual world. And these apps become more and more since it's very easy for the developers to turn six degrees of freedom on. So definitely there are already quite some apps that support this. But anyways, if you want, you can force six degrees of freedom support onto all apps. So even for the old apps that don't um, support it yet, you can simply force it onto them. And actually I did that. So how about the variety of the games and apps? Well, there are hundreds of apps and games on the Daydream platform. It's not like there would be like thousands like Oculus Go, but I can tell you there are really some gems in that library. And for people who say, oh, Oculus Go is so much better it's simply not true because there's so many crap in the Oculus Store. And actually, for Daydream, there are really very nice quality apps there. And especially, of course, those Google apps that you cannot find on Oculus Go. Like, for example, the YouTube app is fantastic. Then the Photos app, then Street View, then the Museum app from Google. So there is really a very nice variety there for the Daydream apps and actually also quite a few apps which are only to be found on the dating platform. So it's not true to say, oh, there are thousands of apps on Oculus Go and on this device, there are only, only hundreds. So, so the Oculus selection is so much better. No, that's not true. We have all the great games also here on Daydream. We even have some games which are, which are not on Oculus Go. So the variety of apps and games definitely is there and what's also nice whenever you look into a game or an app like I did just now then you have this 360 degrees view of that game so yeah you can get an idea about how the game will look like when you download it or when you buy it so as I told you this is a very very polished platform everything about this is super polished all right now let's have a look at something else and yeah, so this is Netflix. And actually it does not support six degrees of freedom by itself, but because I have forced it to support it. Now what we can do is, yes, 
we can have a closer look here at the cup and we can actually move around and I'm telling you guys this is so fascinating I've seen this living room for for quite a while now on the Oculus Go and before also in the in the normal daydream app in the three degrees of freedom daydream app but now to be actually able to move around here because of this six degrees of freedom headset the Lenovo Mirage Solo is very very cool it is really cool and it's very liberating that you are actually able to stand up I mean in reality stand up and really walk around in that beautiful place now of course you have to take care not to run into things in your real place and of course I did that when I was taking this video but um, yeah it is, it is very cool and very liberating now that is really the difference the six degrees of freedom and it does make a difference it's very cool all right now let me show you something else so um, what I'm showing you in here now actually I'm going into the settings and I'm going into all settings apps and notifications and now I'm showing you something really cool you can play all and I mean all Android apps yes 2d Android apps that would normally run on your Android device for example here I downloaded Angry Birds 2 and now I can play Angry Birds the 2d Angry Birds on a huge virtual screen in front of me isn't that cool so indeed you can play all Android games on this device and the Mirage Solo is actually a very very powerful device it comes with a Snapdragon 835 so this is really a very very powerful and fast device and you can play all kind of Android apps that you want to play so actually I downloaded quite a few games just to check them out so let's check out what else is here see all 33 apps and yeah Clash Royale cut the rope for example let's check out cut the rope and app details and then you have to click on open so actually it is a little hack as you can tell it is not on your home screen whenever you download Android apps they are not going to be on your home screen you have to go into settings you have to go to applications and just then can you actually play them and how to download them well you have to go to the web and go to the Google Play Store and then find find the game and simply download it or uh, install it and then it will ask you which device to install to simply find the Lenovo and then it's going to be installed directly onto your Lenovo Mirage Solo and that is pretty pretty cool just think of all the possibilities here it is really really cool so all the games are now playable so um, all the games which have touch like this one you simply use your pointer your controller in order to mimic the finger on the Android app so that works fine and actually what I'm not going to show you in this video I also tried to play a first-person shooter by adding by connecting a controller via um, USB OTG cable and you know what it worked so I played a first-person shooter on the on the Lenovo Mirage Solo with my controller and that is really really awesome now I'm opening my favorite daydream game it's called Eclipse Edge of Light and it's simply a stunning game I gave it a 10 out of 10 this is one of my all-time favorite VR games no matter that it was three degrees of freedom but it was so good and it's still so good but now it supports six degrees of freedom so now head movements will be taken into account and that of course makes it more comfortable yeah so definitely very very cool very polished everything the whole thing the whole UI the ability to to stream that to Chromecast to have your friends see whatever you do to yeah to probably record it via a recording device it is very very nice and yeah super polished 
And then on top of that, the ability to play all your Android games, all your favorite Android games on a huge virtual screen is very cool, really cool. And the, the possibilities are endless with that. So as you can tell, the UI of the Mirage Solo is a very polished one and the device actually does have quite some tricks up its sleeve. But is it worth it, the premium over the Oculus Go? Well, you will find out in my full review, which is going to come out later this week. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, I'd be happy if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions about the Mirage Solo, do leave them in the comment section below or much better directly chat with me and the MRTV community on the MRTV Discord server. And you can get there by simply clicking on the link in the description below. Now, that's it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And well, if you have not subscribed to MRTV, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.